Okay, let's move on straight towards uh, second half then, shall we? De no, well, game two, I mean. Uh, quality is as high as okay, nothing I can do about that. We're going to be able to see Anne coming out here. Disciple Anne. Disciple, good night, Anne. Um, okay, Hamid will be coming first chase here. Psycho first chase. We did pull in quite a bit of a distance, but with that pallet being dropped down there, it seems like we could actually burst the cats here instead. And uh, normal hit, maybe. No normal hit just yet. Okay, so we kind of realized that um we kind of realized that the the, 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 the the psycho has flywheel because of Weber's law movement speed boost here. If it wasn't for Weber's law, Anne definitely could have gotten that normal hit. But with a second cat coming in here, very nice jump. That's gonna be the first hit there registered immediately we decided not to burst the cats there instead maybe bursting the cats might have been a better idea because this is a cycle you're up against but even with that in mind if it works then it works okay psychologist taking the window there but no window speed boost realizing that this is a flywheel here from um psychologist side we're gonna be able to get the vaults in we don't need to jump here just yet we could just need to wait for the perfect angle jump and that's gonna be another normal hit there okay then with that in mind i don't know why this is there oh that is a finally uh we knew we do need another cap uh you know what we have we have a land portal wait priestess is on the field uh kazu 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 you know what to do you know what to do oh never mind kazu okay never mind that's fine that's fine kazuneko just has to stay here kazuneko just has to stay here she just has to stay here uh but for xiao chen sai xiao chen does have teleport though Maybe teleporting might have been a little bit of a better idea there, but oh, I see why we decided to not do anything. Um, and decided not to teleport immediately because because before because anti current can cancel it. Anti current can cancel it. Anti current still had one more flute slap right there, so that 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 did seem like quite a bit of, bit of a big issue right there as well. But uh, um, we are gonna be able to get uh the cat on towards Psycho here once again. But even with the cat on straight towards Psycho, we're gonna be able to get upstairs here. So Virus are doing a really good job. Only Sue's priestess is. Basically, he's a priest, it's me. <laughs> Anyways, Hammond 2, Hammond 2, though. Hammond 2 is containing for 2 minutes 20 seconds now. That's a long containment time. Really long containment time, especially for going against Anne. There's a flywheel that's come out, and that's going to be another normal hit down. But see here now, the Cypher Machine is currently 3 Cypher Machines done. It's going to be Mercenary Cypher Machine. That's going to be the one finished up first. And then we're going to be followed up by anti Korean, who can most likely go a little bit closely towards um, Broken Shack, or, or maybe just Shack itself. But of course, mercenary come in for the rescue right now. The cat gets on immediately, which means we most likely be forcing a rescue here. That's going to be a normal stun. Uh, we decide to jump there instead of Xiao Chen. Jumping might not be the best case scenario. Okay, that's going to be a second jump. Never mind, sorry, I was wrong. Mochi here making a little bit of a mistake. Niable padding it away and... Seems like we're going to be able to find ourselves a double down here. Mochi, mercenary hesitating there was a really bad idea. Reason being the fact that the moment he decided to hesitate and not getting the elbow pad down, it resulted as a double down situation. Now then, Kazuneko did not actually get any cat on him, but he is coming into harass now, but neither did Anne decide to cross his cats in towards him as well. We're going to be able to get that first stab. That's going to be stun. That's going to be no body block, but it's still okay. All what Psycho has to do here is to crawl towards a little bit of a corner and Kazuneko, mind game, mind game, mind game, mind game, mind game, you're not the best case scenario right now, so deciding not to do anything there probably would have been a better idea because like um it's the way i'm positioned herself which didn't allow psychologists to, not psycho which oh uh, we didn't get the jump oh wait a second what happened a uh, normal hit mercenary half held we have psycho not psycho and he got tp'd on she got tp'd on oh my lord there's a long portal at least but there no one can come in for the rescue now uh, we are going to be able to get our first jump. Second jump is not ready just yet, but we can probably... Are you coming back? Um... Uh... I think we did that by accident. I think we did that by accident. I mean, like, even if he did come back, it doesn't really matter. Just Cypher Machine popped over by anti current side, and there's a priest is nearby as well, so that's still okay for now. It seems like we're currently running straight towards, um, don't know if we're really running towards, but Mercer is not decoding as well, which is a good, good choice. Because you don't want to give that 
like you want this to become a tight game right you do have accelerated decoding as well you might as well max heal first before you continue any further um and the current ha uh, half the durability uh, has has about uh, and the current has half of the original amount of her flu and then we are going to be able to get a normal head priestess with two portals land portal ready in 29 seconds realizing which cypher machine is shaking here anti Korean does get hard countered by Anne but since this is Anne we're talking about right now mm, we want to get everyone to half health it seems this might not be the worst case scenario but I wouldn't also say it's the best case scenario here too uh priestess Gonna be able to go straight towards double eleven here. The pallets here has not been used just yet. Fifty three percent cipher machine. Eight seconds until until our teleport is ready and mercenary on the run here. We need to run straight towards big boat because if we don't, that double jump and might be a little bit of an issue here for us, isn't it, Zeta? Um. Okay, Mochi getting the vault over here. Mochi running in towards the inner side, but it seems like we decided to go towards the outer side there instead by jumping down. It's a very nice cat jump by our fellow disciple Anne. But even with the disciple on here, Mochi going in straight towards the corner. Very nicely done. We get a little bit of a movement speed boost there alongside with a second mini tighter turner time for ourselves. Mercenary, no self-heal is what I just realized. But you know what else I just realized? It's the fact that uh we 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 could we, we need to break. Yeah, we need to break it. Yeah, anti is a little bit of a hassle, isn't she? Oh, we are able to get a hit on towards Anti. Okay, we got the hit on towards Anti there. I feel like for Anti Korean, like for Kazuneko, I think Kazu could have tried flywheeling that normal hit because uh, Kazu knows himself when disarm duration is going to end, I feel. Right, so in that case scenario, it's probably better for Kazuneko to actually try that flywheel out, unless we want to save the flywheel for endgame, I guess. But even if that's the case, what I would say is, you know, eh, we'll see. You know what? We'll see. Okay, now we're going to be able to get a chair here on straight towards anti Korean, anti Korean first chair. But we know where the survivors are because we know where Mochi down that towards the corner of Big Bowl Gage. And then there's only two possible locations where the survivors could be coming from. The first location is Big Bowl, and the second location is where Mercenary is decoding right now. Mm, that's going to be a really long cut being thrown out there. Mercenary, one elbow pad remaining, 33 seconds on towards the next teleport by the way that's going to be the cat immediately on towards mercy and because it's such a huge wide radius slash range it seems like mercy would get the cutting benefit here anti current after half rescue we don't have any prime cypher machine over there i think but with mercenary coming in towards the um, prime cypher machine being chaired here while we're actually healing anti mercenary most likely will be after half rescue too and in this case scenario as well we cannot forget Priestess was the one decoding that cypher machine near near beach, but uh, Kazuneko right now is going to be the one standing there not moving at all. I mean, him not moving is just because of the fact he wants to know where Anne is, but it seems like he might get scattered out here immediately. Kazuneko, that's going to be the uh, cat miss, but that's okay. We just need to aim for Kazuneko right now. He's your main goal. He's your main goal. That's a very beautiful flywheel. Do we have stab? We do have a splat back. Very nicely done. Very, very, very nicely done. We're probably looking for a tp here we're probably we got the normal can we get a tp over to stop them from decoding can we no we and the problem from rescue not decoding no we won't we're gonna full chase after anti here anti we got the cat we got the jump over there though and with no items remaining there goes down anti current okay a little bit of an oof moment but even with the oof moment and a mind survivor should be able to pop off the cypher machine here with a two man in game and a one man escape unless we're able to find mercenary and down immediately and then go for the priestess. But priestess was still with long portal here. Might not be your best um in best interest to actually go after mercenary. Okay, priestess. Let's see. We're holding on towards the cat. The cat going straight towards the outer side. You should be able to catch on towards priestess here immediately. Priestess, beautiful flywheel. Beautiful flywheel, Dolly Sue. But this one beautiful flywheel is only enough for your mercenary to actually open the gate and get out because your second portal now is currently ready which is brilliant news as well we're going to be able to get downstairs here but the least we're trying to play a really long mind game do we get the cat on we didn't get a cat on but we got to jump down and a normal hit down here okay teleporting towards the wrong way that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine and with that in mind I do think the exit gate should be open here on time and Anne will not be able to make it towards the shot gate. Let's congratulate MRC Xiao Cheng here, Disciple Anne with a 3 man elimination endgame. Moving on directly to second half.
Okay, directly towards the second half then. It seems like we went in towards the game here uh, immediately. It seems like Xiaodi is going to become the first chase. I see our first chase. Oh, 100% wax. Uh, we're going to be able to get the owl. Okay, we don't get the owl out. Um, a little bit of an earlier wax than I thought it would be. Allowing Seer out for wax artists honestly isn't bad, especially after the Seer's nerf. But chasing after the Seer first might be the worst case scenario here for you because... This seer is going to be able to get a lot of owls just from you. A lot of owls just from you. But Xiaodi getting the normal first hit there immediately is kind of bad as well. We are going to be able to cut a little bit of a tight corner here. Vaulting over that window. 68 uh, wax on towards our seer. But it seems like seer here might be getting the owl. Forcing. We did not manage to force ourselves actually there towards max wax. And it seems like seer will be going down here immediately. Will be going down here immediately. Okay, it is 60 seconds in towards the game but survivor side they probably do know that they can sell we are going to bring peepers here for our um oh, wait a second you know what's funny is even if it's this 80 second down they're decoding really fast i guess it's because you're against a walk so you don't really have to rotate if you know who's gonna get chased first um Patient Cypher Machine has been locked. Patient Cypher Machine. Patient can leave the Cypher and go decode something else. Because that Cypher Machine could be resulted as a Prime Cypher Machine. So you don't necessarily have to wait there. Just decode a complete new Cypher Machine. And we'll see how it goes right now. So you having no wilds remaining simply just means that you should not be chasing after. You should not be rescuing here anymore. There's no point in doing any rescue. There's really no point in doing any rescue here. We are going to be able to get a Cypher Lock here once again. But because of this Cypher Lock. Let's run back towards our Shock Cypher Machine. Shall we? Nope. Never mind. The Cypher Machine didn't get locked. Be a bush up. Uh, patient did get a little bit of a wax there okay then okay then still not too bad at all we're currently starting our last two cypher machine there as well uh proceeding if we proceed to lock that cypher machine properly then it just means oh we got the beautiful normal hit beautiful hit okay shall d shall d shall d body block body block very nicely done we're gonna be able to get a little bit of movement speed boost right here and with that one long window there to play well maybe it's not used to play because we're a max presence right now we're at least able to lock the window okay there we go shall d going down here see you're going down immediately we are missing let me see we're around one and a half cypher machine off with the cypher machine decoding progress is there but of course with peepers being the main trait knowing that we don't have anything ready just yet first officer needing to leave here immediately we do have we do have a wax ready as well but you know, even with the walks right here, it seems like Nanako is going to be leaving Big Boat. We're saving Big Boat to decode later on, maybe. That seems like it's going to be the case here. But um, from the survivor side, they probably should know that it's a Peeper's Wax Artist. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to actually time Peeper Wax Artist since you don't really know when he deploys his um, Peepers. But it seems like right now, Novelist, very nicely done on crouching towards the outer side here. We deploy, de deploy a Peeper down, but not seeing anything there simply only means that survivors might be just on the outer side right now might be mm, that's gonna be our second beavers deployed down okay by this point we probably should realize that there's no survivors outside um cypher machine wise here though we're gonna be able to pop off the third and the fourth meanwhile patient no that didn't lock excuse me uh did we get anything we didn't we got we got a four web not web we got four wax we, got, we did get four wax they were playing around we we're playing oh we got a pallet stun there okay so we're deciding to use so for nanako himself he's deciding to use that immediately in exchange for a lot of other stuff meanwhile what's is going to become the main chase here as our as our uh next container that's going to be the pallet there being locked and it seems like we actually won't have much left here to use except for our hook that's going to be a 100 web thread that the hook was cancelled the hook was cancelled here and nanako is okay nanako is nearby to provide as much assistance as possible that's probably the best case scenario here for the survivor side mm, i'm gonna go towards the other side we're gonna be able to get a hook hey that hook was a faulty hook wait a second nanako being nearby right now we did get a normal hit down the side for machines a little bit too far away to be locking with our normal wax or your blob wax so that's gonna be a normal pickup where can we chair the only place we can chair is actually right over there um okay this might be really bad from the survivor side because uh, okay no never mind you can't really lock that cypher machine unless elf needs to wild needs to walk quite a bit of a distance here we got the lock but we got the no damage rescue 
Yeah, that might be the biggest issue right here. We got the lock, but we got a no damage rescue. Just chasing after a patient is such a hassle as well, especially when he you had such a already such a long distance created, and so it's hard to land your wax. We do have hot wax though, so maybe for Alp here, we're aiming for the 96 wax and then open hot wax to see how it goes. We did manage to get the jump down there, 45% wax. Where is Novelist? We got the pallet down. Where is Novelist? Where is Novelist? Okay, Novelist wants to maintain full health. Fair enough. Okay, so Novelist here has to maintain full health. If he has to rescue again, that's going to be patient. That's going to be patient down. That's no problem at all. That's no problem at all. We decided not to pop immediately here, which is also not a bad idea. But Novelist here, Novelist has to stay near the chair. We need to do an instant rescue here immediately, and we need to avoid the uh, hot wax as well, which might become one of the biggest issues here. Uh, for Alf, there's still a huge chance for a tree mine elimination, but for a tie here, survivors need to do very well with the body block. We need the body block here as much as possible. We need the body block here as much as possible. That's very nicely done. Patient, 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 patient. Okay, we didn't get the hot wax wasn't ready just yet. Hot wax wasn't ready just yet. Wait, wait, can we hot wax? Can we hot wax? We... We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. Okay, okay, uh, la, 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 la. we have to, we have to, we, we, ch we wait, okay, wait, wait, we still have to wait, you cannot do anything there, you cannot do anything there. The two reasons, reason number one was Hotwax wasn't ready when it was at 97%, reason number two being the fact that if you open Hotwax right there, they'll immediately, they will immediately run away and, um, no, sorry. They will, uh, even if you spew hot wax there on towards a patient, they'll pop open the cipher immediately. You can't have someone else nearby near you during the time as well, because you spew hot wax there. What happens is Novelist switches targets with you, and then, oh, very nice. So can we pop? We need to, we, we, okay, we're not popping just yet. We're not popping just yet. We're not, we know what we're doing. We do know what we're doing. We do know what we're doing. Keep, 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 keep it like this. Keep it like this. Okay, okay. Keep it like this. Keep it like this. Keep it like this. Uh, patient, patient, we need to hook upstairs. Patient, patient, we need to hook upstairs. We don't have hot wax just yet, but we need to hook upstairs we need to hook up and then jump down we need to hook up and jump down we got the hook up we got the jump down and that's gonna be the cypher machine pop okay three man end game here coming from a wax uh no coming from mrc survivor side and we're able to pull such a huge distance going straight towards dungeon as well boss um i know a lot of misconceptions here would be oh you should have just opened hot wax there immediately and then get the survivors down your answer to that is no and uh reason being the fact that you open hot wax survivors don't necessarily have to pop the moment that novelist was there novelist has a book novelist can change immediately positions between you and the wax artist and then you pop there immediately all survivors have movement speed because all survivors can run uh but it seems like right now though and, and especially in that era too where patient can go immediately to into um small boat and then there is that mini boat and one pallet there to use so wax artists can't get any wax there i just have to explain this right just let me explain this because uh we'll, we'll just go back we'll just go back and analyze that properly this is the this is one of the only games i'm doing this for but like let's just uh let's just see here the, the video is over by this point by the way but let's just see here right okay so you see here you see here you see here uh patient is as you see here patient is at 93 wax patient will be as 97 wax right here now the the, the only issue here being not only Alf cannot open hot wax here, right? Because the moment Alf opens hot wax, you hot wax down. What will happen here is, if we just check where Novelist is, see see how Novelist is moving. Novelist is not going to be... Novelist, okay, Novelist now realizes uh, that Patient is going to be at 97% soon. So Novelist is running away from Patient. Patient is running the direct opposite direction, right? And then here we see, we see, we want to avoid hot wax, we want to avoid hot wax, we want to avoid hot wax. And, uh, and, 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 and we're still, we're still, we're still aiming now. Some people, no, 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 no. Some people, some, some of you might have said, okay, no, we should have just hit a novelist there. So then they pop open the cypher machine and then, and then, uh, everyone goes. The answer to you here is still no. Reason being the fact that if you, if you decide to hit novelist here, patient gets a movement speed boost out. Nanako also gets a movement speed boost out. So Nanako runs straight in towards two-story area. If you want to chase after patient, patient's going to be really hard to chase after as well in this case scenario too. And like under the condition that even if you did manage to get a blob box on towards patient, what will happen is Nanako will be using his novel to swap positions with the hunter. So then that three-second duration is useless anyways. 
So that, that three second duration is useless here anyways. So like for Alp here, there's really not much he could do. There's really not much he could do right here. Uh, what, what else? What else? What else would I have to say? Oh, yeah, now, now we're changing targets for Nanako to try and get him as much as possible there. We see where Patient is. We see where Nanako is. And like in, in this case scenario, like right here, he could open Hot Wax. Uh, when he gets to 97 yeah he could open with hot walks when he gets to 97 but 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 because of the two pilot area kind of is hard okay we're gonna be able to open the hot walks here and see see the change it's exactly because of the change that you can't really do anything about it but now realizing that the change is currently over patient can safely rotate towards a two story with that hook and because of that hook like we have to lock this we have to lock the window tier too because if we don't lock the window patient vaults over the window and then we get a cypher machine pop immediately and patient gets out and patient gets out but like but like even if you get a 97 percent wax right here what, what what realistically speaking what are you gonna do you're gonna open you don't have a hot wax anymore so oh well oh well oh well it's just to explain to you guys because uh no reason some of you probably do know the reason why I'm saying this, but no reason. Anyways, moving on towards game three.